I didn't record. Me. I'm so sorry. Do you want me to start over? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, everyone. Everyone here is probably aware about this website called Wikipedia. It is one of the most visited sites on the internet. Uh, maybe in uh, the more scientific fields, there's more. Uh, there's a higher variation in how accepted it is to use Wikipedia for the information, but it is nevertheless a very important source of information for many people in the world. Uh, and if you navigate Wikipedia, we can uh, quickly see that the, you can go from one article to the next just by clicking a link. Um, and we wanted to study the relationship between these links uh, and uh, model this using graph analytics. In particular, how, uh, how close the relationship is between the different articles. And using this, uh, we, we wanted to uh, analyze uh, metrics such as leaf nodes and most, uh, most commonly visited articles, almost things uh, uh, with, uh, with, uh, in, uh, like articles with most things pointing to it. And we, we uh, use that. Uh, the graph frames API of uh, of Spark to uh, uh, to uh, use some of the most common methods such as uh, page rank, little regression, and breadth uh, per search. And the first thing that we're going to cover uh, is uh, is going to cover how we retrieve this data. Yeah, so if anyone looked in, in our folder, you will see that a lot of notebooks. Fortunately, good news for whoever is peer reviewing it, five of the notebooks are basically copies of each other with slight edits. So, so don't be afraid. Let's just, okay. So Wikipedia essentially dumps all of its data in a kind, kind of nice-ish format. So everything is just available to download. You don't need to do any scraping, just click download on it. The problem is this Wikipedia is quite large, as you might have noticed at some point. So we need to do something somewhat, well, not clever, but at least not, not completely naive to load this data. So we, oh, we download it, unzip it, read, read it into our Databricks file system instead of just sitting on the driver. We had a discussion on Canvas page about how to yeah, do, do this. And I mean, this method works. So, and here is what the files look like. This is the first like 40 rows. Mm -hmm. So you see it's in some kind of MySQL done which specifies exactly what, exactly the structure of the database. It gives you a little create table, redirect. So the specific table we're looking at loading here is the table of which articles we direct to which articles. And then you get something very annoying, which is, I think in this case, like 50 rows of a couple of megabytes of text each, where each row looks something like this. Now, the most obvious, most naive way of doing this is what just we do. Load this entire MySQL dump file into memory on the drive and run all the SQL scale. We have a database. The problem with this is this doesn't work. There's too much, too much data. You need too much memory on your driver. So we do something somewhat smarter in that we just look at the detail structure of this and see that, oh, right, everything is separated by this little thing. End parenthesis, comma, start parenthesis. So we can, we can just do a split on these screens where we split every instance of this. And we get out something that looks like this instead, which is, you know, basically a CSV file. And so this is exactly what we end up doing. In this case, it's a quite small file. In a sense, it's only 12.99 million entries in the database. So we just save this as something we call a CSV file, and then we can read it back in. 
pass the CSV by I and everything works out somewhat nicely. And using some nice things with actually tracking which corrupt record records we get, we can discover that we had a total of one row where the article title contained our stupid n parentheses commas last or parentheses b. So we lost an, exactly one article in this process. And I think in the other databases, we lost another four or something, which on sure. the scale of things is quite fine. And so we can write this down into our data lately into an actual nice database. And as I said, this was 14.9 million rows. I think the largest of the tables you have to read in is the page links table, which contains not only links between actual normal articles, but also like discussion pages, files, user page pages, and so on. And that was 1.49 billion rows, I think. So you really do need to do something like this. The idea of just do it in the driver memory is very possible. But I mean, like really bad for you guys because you wouldn't have been able to use the cluster if I did it that way. Yeah, exactly. That. That's, that's also very true. And then something which. So the previous notebooks are similar, a similar process for different files. Yeah, exactly. We load then... in. So we load in the redirects table, which contains all the redirects. Pages loads in all the every page in Wikipedia, mm -hmm. and then we filter out everything that's not a normal article. Page links is the one with 1.5 billion things in it. And we also load in the data of categories and which articles are in which category. And all of this is available as data tables in the Delta, Delta Lake on the Databricks all prefixed en wiki underscore something. And then the next thing we do, which I'm not getting into much detail on, is we look at all pages marked as redirects and we, okay. we go like imagine we have one article links to redirect which redirects to some page then we re remove all the redirect articles and just go directly okay. directly because that seems like a semantically sensible thing to do with mm -hmm. our data so what i redirect is that there's like articles like with this it's like a nuclear weapon and atomic weapon. Yeah, exactly. Or nuke will redirect a nuclear weapon and so on. So there are a lot of these for various reasons, like a misspelling will often redirect to the correct spelling of an article and so on. Like King Charles will be redirect to an article by Charles XII or whatever. There are a lot of them. Specifically 12.9 million, as we just saw earlier. So and the other thing which we do in terms of the loading, quite like easiest to see the point of this. But, um, here is what the page links table looks like. And we have an obvious problem here. We have a page link from has a nice page ID, which is the actual ID in the database. But, but then we get, instead of getting the ID of what you're linking to, we're getting the title. We need to do some like inner joins between things, especially because there's never no guarantee that just because you have a page link from and the title of an article, it's very possible that the article there is no article by that title, in which case with actual actual Wikipedia page you'll see a red link. So that's the other thing you need to deal with and create an actual Nice graph. So then we get to the creation of the actual graph. Uh, I think I think that will speed up a little bit. Uh, we no, this is not. It's the, I think that's one creation. Yeah. Let's, yes. But do, do we want to fifteen yeah. minutes? Let's do. Okay. Uh, did, did you want to say anything about the last one or? No, I think that was basically the remove. Create actual ID to ID links. Yes. Uh, right. So what we want to do is is just create the actual graph using the tables that we now have in a nice format. Uh, so this is a sort of summary of the tables we we have, or some of them. Uh, so as the 
nodes, we want the actual articles. So we take from page DF pages, uh, we, we take the page ID as the actual thing we tell the computer to remember, and then attributes on top of that. So we remember which title it is. Uh, and in this case, I think the only other thing we remember is, remember is how big the page is, uh, like uh, how much is written in it. Uh, and then we can sort of uh, expand yeah, yeah. this table by, for instance, loading the category uh, table and adding on like a list of uh, this page, but also belongs to all of these categories. Uh, so this is done from these pages here. I, I don't think we actually can show the, uh, I think we have a printout actually. Oh, no, I, there's no printout at the the yeah. but uh, same way edges we take from uh, from uh, the pages data frame uh, and just link up uh, we go from this to this but we have to add on, add on like, uh, ID so that we can nicely refer to them uh, in a good way Do you okay have any other properties for the edges no we, we have what type of edge it is so uh, it goes from from this page ID uh, to this title, and it is either a file, uh, a page, or a subcategory. So in this particular case, we're interested in links between pages, i.e. We, we filter out the page type. Uh, you could also uh, ask you the question, which categories are subcategories of which can do a nice little tree of that, uh, just by filtering out the, the subcat. Right, so what does this graph actually look like? Well, we have 6.57 million articles uh, in the, uh, the whole of English Wikipedia and 600 million links. So it's, it's quite big. Uh, it has an average in degree of almost 100 and an average out degree of 40 or so. Okay. Uh, does that make this technically a sparse clap? I think it's like okay. it's I mean, in theory, I think that means it's sparse, but it's also extremely densely connected. Like, you really struggle to find two vertices which are at a distance rate rate and three from each other. Yes, and that uh, comes from this average uh, degree not being representative because it, it's very skewed in distribution. Uh, so, we can sparse graph of a bunch of dense subgraphs, possibly. Yeah, uh, well, it, it, like this is a histogram of the uh, in, in degrees. And remember, we have 6.57 million articles. I uh, shrunk the y-axis here. So the, the very smallest category contains 6.4 million of them. So it's very, very uh, focused on uh, having few few links. And then there are a few that have enormous amounts. Same if we take a look at the, the out degree distribution. Here it's not quite, uh, we have 13 million in the first one, 1 million in the second, yeah. second and then it goes down. Uh, so like, is this just so study these things call this a follow-up? Yes, it looks very well, negative, negative yeah. exponential. And uh, you also get, the, get yeah. a very powerful distribution for length. So yes, so uh, there's a similar histogram yeah. further down here. I think it's yeah. easy to have uh, uh, Sorry? It's like a long time. Yeah. Yes, it's very, very, very long. Um, so if we take a look at the table, sort, sorting all of this uh, by I, highest in degree, the top article is ISBN. Because every time Wikipedia sa says this has ISBN number and an a number, you can also click ISBN and tell you, get you to this page, which explains what ISBN is. Uh, and if we look, yeah, if we keep on seeing like geographic yeah. the coordinate system, every time you have coordinates, it links there. Uh, the first non-identifier uh, kind of uh, article is called the United States. So obviously there are a lot of things happening in the United States and then that links to, to that. Uh, so that, that is a very, very reasonable thing. We take a look at the out degrees, the most uh, out degrees, so two and a half million million, is index of Singapore related articles. This is an uh, this is a page that looks like this. So the eight and a half million. No, I think it was twelve thousand. The two and a half million was the ID name. Oh, I'm sorry, I read the wrong name. Yeah, then we reached A. Uh, so it's it's quite a bit, quite a big list. 
very active Wikipedia community. Oh, yes. Sorry, yes, yeah, twelve thousand. Uh, and again, list of birds by common name. So list indices, uh, sort of these are all of the things. Uh, the first non-list item on this, we have to have to scroll down all the way to place 90, unless I've missed something, uh, where we have the uh, outline of Islam. So oh. that's a very uh, all-encompassing article, article with links to all of various, um, lots of portals and stuff. Uh, otherwise, it's mainly these things happen. People in Illinois is number two. Yeah. So, uh, so, there's okay. people in Illinois who is very, very high. Yeah, I think a few of those articles are also somewhat out to generate by, by like, you know, cat things yeah. in the category of Illinois. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is really somewhat, uh, yeah, you, you can browse these these tables. If you're it's good read. <laughs> it's good read, yeah. uh, And then, uh, like we mentioned, uh, we have, uh, if we look at the page length, we get similar uh, distribution. Uh, so uh, if we're doing uh, analysis, it might be a good idea to cut off this at some point. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Because we, uh, the idea was then to use some of uh, graph frames, like built-in algorithms on this huge graph. And like, we struggled a bit, like the cluster wouldn't do things on this big, big graph. So we decided to use some kind of like threshold of uh, what articles to, to include. Um, so we use, like, I'm just going to scroll through the first couple of cells here. So it's the exact same thing as Henry showed, like how we uh, generate the graph now, essentially. Um, so we first have this, like, full graph of 6 million rows, no, 6 million vertices. And then we just want to consider some subset of these uh, articles. Um, and we decided to use the page length. So we just use the 25% longest article articles. Um, and this might seem like we're only going to use like pretty like pretty long articles, but I mean this is the like when we just take out a sample of the uh, articles we look at, we find astronomer which has a page length of eight thousand five hundred, and we use the cutoff as I think yeah eight thousand four hundred, and and if we look at astronomer, it's a fairly short or I, I mean this is the type of article you would read on Wikipedia because a lot of the short articles are just, are just like information about one little thing, uh, which is like, if we need to restrict ourselves, we felt like this is reasonable restriction. Okay. Like, you know, yeah. that's natural. Very interesting to see also <laughs> yeah. some of the arbitrariness of Wikipedia. So we care about Hungarians, Russians, Slovenians, and Muslims. And women. But no other is wrong. <laughs> So if we look at like this kind of restricted graph now, uh, we see that we have 1.6 million uh, vertices left. It's still, still pretty big um, and around 200 million uh, edges. And so it's gone a little bit more dense as we, uh, as we remove all these short articles, which I mean, makes sense because there's, they have fewer things on them because they're short. Um, so we continue looking at just this reduced size uh, graph. So the first thing we started looking at was, do we have any kind of leaf node or root nodes in this network, like Wikipedia articles that just everything dies at this article, where everything starts and starts in this article. And the quick answer is no. There's like It's just a big cycle. Everything goes around. The smallest we can find is that we can find articles which just points, points to one. Mm -hmm. I mean, this comes from the fact that we've filtered this on only, the, like if we used all of the 